Well, hello there. I don't know if any of you guys look up at the sky at night and look at the stars. Well, <laughs> we haven't seen many, have we, this month? But uh, apparently, uh, on the 17th of July, there was a massive solar flare. And it's going to hit the Earth today, and it's going to be continue to hit the Earth over the next four days until about the 24th of July, uh, maybe the 25th of July. But basically... As the as the uh, solar flare comes out, it forms like a semicircular shape, all right. And the Earth is over here. So as this thing comes out, we're catching the tail end of that solar flare. So hopefully, all that solar activity will collect on the North Pole and the South Pole and give us a little bit of this aurora borealis. Um, if you live up north in Scotland, maybe you might be able to see it. Um, I know years and years ago we, there was a, uh, another strong solar flare and I was down in Italy in the Mediterranean uh, on a border ship out at anchor. So we were well away from the lights and the night sky was uh, perfectly um, illuminated without any light noise. And uh, we could see a very faint shimmering of in the air. Just a, just a little bit. I mean... I, but anyway, when I got home, I did check to see how far south the Aurora Borealis had gone during that period of time. And yes, it was, apparently it was as far as, uh, as south of Italy. Uh, we were slightly up north a bit. Um, nearer, there was a volcano there, the Stromboli. Uh, we were near there somewhere. Um, I can't remember the name of the place now. But anyway, yes. And, of course, we're entering into the season of meteorites as well. So, I know <laughs> it doesn't get dark until about 20 to 10, does it now? So, uh, you, if there's a clear sky, you might be able to see something tonight. And the next couple of nights as well. I mean, this solar storm isn't, isn't to be anything to worry about. Is that You might get a little bit of activity on the Earth. But it's um, something to, to keep an eye out on. And luckily, I'm able to tell you about it because otherwise I'd normally be at sea and I don't hear these things. Um, but now that I'm at home, you might get to see some solar activity in the way of Aurora Borealis. Uh, if you're interested, it's in the region of... There's a couple of solar storms going on. I think it's uh, 3376 and 3363 are the uh, areas to look at on the sun. Um, but yeah, go and have a look and uh, see what you think. And uh, if you do manage to catch some of the Aurora Borealis, do come back and tell me, because I'd like to see it in, like you see on the television when they show you the Aurora Borealis up in, in the Scandinavian countries, um, where it's uh, very well visible. But hopefully, the next, um, next couple of days, we'll be able to see some, something. Anyway. So that's about it for my ramblings on the stars and we're entering into this um, meteor period. The uh, I forget the name of it now, but I know it's about this time of year. Anyway, catch you all on the next one. See you then. Bye, Lim.